Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these 3D shapes using only 2D vector layers. So here you can see the thumbnail I created for this video. Uh, you can see we have these um, 3D boxes and these triangles, these pyramids floating on the screen. And we're going to recreate some of this stuff. So I'm going to have this clean composition here. So I'm going to uh, quickly show you how you can create a simple box shape. So I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and then create this box here like that. Just change the color, maybe a bit more purpley like that. All right. And I'm going to turn it 3D. I'll click on this button here. Now it's 3D. And I'm going to go to my uh, camera tool and I, up here we have the rotation tool and next to that we have this three camera tools. So I'm going to go to the orbit around cursor tool and it's just a letter C on your keyboard. You can just switch between these three. And if I click and drag, I can just kind of turn my camera. So this object isn't actually moving. It's just the camera, um, like how you're viewing at this whole scene is moving around it. So we're going to click on this layer and let's turn it back here. We have this anchor point here up there. I want the anchor point to be down here uh, in the center uh, at the bottom. So you can do that by going to your pen behind tool and then um, changing this over there and putting it there you can do that or what i uh, highly recommend is you get some sort of plugin uh, which will do that for you we have the motion 2 plugin which has this and i have this move anchor point plugin it's free you can find it somewhere online there are lots of different ones so you can click on it and then boom it instantly sets your anchor points at the desired location so we want it at the bottom here let's go to c again turn around a bit and then click on this layer going to press command d here to duplicate it and then I'm going to go to my uh, select the layer here and then click and drag. And you can see I have this uh, plane which we can turn around here, this nice square. So I'm going to hold shift. So now it's perfectly 90 degrees. Let's change the color a bit so you can see it a bit better. So there you can see, press C again. You can see we have this 3D shape already. And on this one, I'm going to press command D again and then move the anchor point to the top here. And I'm going to turn that one up like that let's change the color here as well just we have some better views of this and then press command d and put this at the top or at the bottom here because it's turning around and then do the same thing over there so now we have this box with no sides and of course let's just change the color here as well um very easy you can just select this one duplicate it put the anchor pot at the correct position so like that and then we're going to drag this down like this, holding shift. Oh, 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 holding shift. Yeah, there you go. All right, lighter. And then turn around, hold it with the letter C here, which is your orbit tool. And we can, for example, take, uh, doesn't really matter, take this one, duplicate that, put the anchor point there, and then turn this, holding shift. Boom, change that color. Nice. So now we can, with our C tool, we can just look around and we have this box created here. Nice. So that works pretty easily. So let's just uh, turn this all off. So the cool thing what you can do here is you go to Illustrator, for example, and create these shapes, kind of these collapsed or not collapsed or whatever, uh, expanded views of these shapes. So we have this box here. I can kind of create the expanded view of that shape in here, bring it into After Effects and then uh, you know, turn everything around and make it uh, 3D and kind of recreate that shape. So I've got this 3D shapes template here with all of these layers in it. So just select, let's select all of them, press Command C and I'll paste them in here. And then we'll do the same thing here, of course, again, like this. And then um, if I parent this one to this one, so let's just put these at the top here. I'm going to parent this one to this guy. Put this anchor point here to the left, yeah, and then turn this around, boom, boom. And this one, I'm gonna put the anchor point to the top here, and then turn this around as well. And like that, you can also create this uh, this box here. Uh, I think you get what I mean, how you can do this. I don't have to show you the whole thing, I just did. Yeah, like that. So that's how you can create this box shape, where you go, oop, oop, oop. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can create the whole box shape like this. But of course, I also have this a bit more complicated shape, this letter F here. If I select that whole thing, come on, C, paste that in here. Nice. This one is a bit more complicated. Still, it's really easy. But here I can select this one and put it all on the 
left side here, just kind of work on the top here, to the left, to the right. And let's put this one to the bottom and this one to the bottom here as well. This one to the bottom and this one as well. And then I'm going to parent, uh, let's call, let's recall this to F2. And this one is F1, let's call it one. And uh, it's going to check this one and this one and parent that to F number two. Uh, and this one, parent that one to F number one. And F no number two, I'm going to parent to that one. So this is, yeah, F number two, like that. So right now, if I uh, turn everything, oh, turn everything 3D to begin with, click. Uh, all right, and if I, uh, let's just orbit around a little bit. Like this one, if I drag this right now, because everything is parented to it, it kind of collapses, it, it folds down with it. So I can do this. And then for my letter F here, this one, I can do this, boom. Nice. And we can let turn this up here again a little bit. Nice, and then everything you can just select and kind of building blocks here. It's actually pretty fun to do. It's like playing with uh, boxes, just like a kid. Uh, this one is at the wrong place, like that, all right. We have this one here to the left. Just going to finish this one up here. Nice. This one, um, no, anchor point at the top right there. Cool. This one needs to collapse in as well. Uh, yep, right, like that. And what is this? Sometimes it gets a bit hard to see. And this one needs to collapse up. Uh, right. And it's sometimes also a bit difficult to select the correct layer. Yeah, there you go. Nice, and then this one up as well. And I think we're there then. Yeah, finished. Nice, put this F1 and 2 shape on top. Nice, and then you get this nice 3D oh, where are we? Uh, F uh, shape. Just from these simple 2D uh, layers, of course. And if I just turn these all off, and let's animate it a little bit. So we've got this one. Um, Let's, let's just go on uh, active camera. I'm gonna reset camera, default camera, then we're back in the middle. So like this. And then I'm going to, I want to select the bottom one. Which one is that? This one. Yeah, and put the anchor point here in the middle. And then in my rotation here, I can drag this thing around, of course. So let's create a keyframe here. And then over here, let's make it turn one time, one rotation, and then it animates, boom, that way. Give this some nice easing, and you're done. Then we have this 3D box turning. Of course, you need to keep in mind that you can only create these flat surfaced shapes, of course. You can't create anything with any curves. Uh, you can, of course, create this stuff, like an, uh, let's quickly do this one as well here. Let's turn this all off. Uh, you can create something with um, these points like a pyramid because they're all like kind of lining up together. So if I select them all and Parent them to this one and then make them 3D, this one as well. And then you can, um, this is a bit, diff bit more difficult, but you can uh, turn this one up here. Let's put the correct, put it at the correct position here, the, the anchor point, so at the bottom. And then this one needs to go up. So let's see. Yeah, so this needs to go to the middle. So the thing you can do here is go to active camera and then go to front, like that. And then here you can see we have the, the middle of this shape. Let's put our ruler, command R. Put it at the middle here. And then this one needs to turn until it hits that point. I'm just going to do it quickly right now. Here as well. Something like this. I'm going to active camera, and there you can see we have our 
pyramid shape nearly done. Um, so that's how you can create the, this shape. Only what I said, keep in mind, you cannot create any curves. So uh, you can create a letter if you want to letter A or letter T or I, you can do that. Uh, but you cannot do the letter S, of course, or the C, for example, because they have curves in it. And then uh, the 3D uh, effect here only works with these kind of collapsible, foldable uh, shapes. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to download the project files for this video, you can see this whole thing and how I built all of this. Uh, you can download that by supporting us on Patreon. Over there you can find exclusive videos, extended videos, and of course then all of the project files for every tutorial I upload. If you like this video, please give it a like or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.